previously on board. Uh, Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Good and you, you well? Yeah, I cannot complain, thank you. We were just, we were just saying, don't blow it, don't blow it, now make me look like an idiot. Um, that, uh, <laughs> that, 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 you that, for that burger incident, huh? Eh? What burger incident? I, I you went for the burger thing the last time. So, all right, the wheel's round there. <laughs> what burger did I do? What burger thing did I do? Yeah, don't you? You know exactly which one you did when I was in Oz. But it's fine. The wheel's nice and round. Yes, yes. I what did you do? Yes. What did yes. I do? Yeah. They sent hot, do? hot stuff onto his food. <laughs> they delivered to the room. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like the hottest, hottest peri peri sauce. Oh my goodness, sorry about that, Harrow. No worries, man. <laughs> Why do you remember stuff like that? I completely <laughs> forgotten. Jeez, like. No, that wheel's nice and round. Don't worry, yeah. I'll come for you one day. Yeah. So uh, I believe you. I believe you sample Balls Radio every now and again. I do. Yes, I do. I think it's quality. Well yeah. done. Fantastic. Now, thanks very much for that. And uh, yeah, last time we caught up with you was at the uh, at the golf day at Swat Corps. And yes. uh, then next thing you off and boom, you're on TV and you're doing the uh, the cricket How are you enjoying that? Oh, it's been fun. I'm actually just you know, I'm taking a few tips from you, you know, the master. So, <laughs> <laughs> when are you I'm hosting Boots it. and All? <laughs> Sorry? When are you hosting Boots and All? <laughs> um, I, don't my, I don't have my rugby uh, knowledge is all that good, I promise you. <laughs> Oh, well, listen, I'm going to get a shot in there, Darren, but I won't go there. No, no, don't. Uh, how's your TV career going? Good? Yeah, getting there. Just checking. Just checking. Yeah. Getting there. Lovely, yeah. Now, listen, we're thoroughly enjoying watching you. I think you're a great addition to the panel. Um, so, more of HD and more of Harrow. There we go. That'll be lovely. I actually haven't been in studio at HD yet. Haven't so you? Be, I think it'll no, be a great it'll combination. Be good. It'll be good. There's some good fun. There'll be some good banter there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think HD is top quality. I think it's, yeah, uh, HD, HD, you and uh, Jackers would be top quality <laughs> Jack is Jack is a beauty yeah, you get yeah. <laughs> so how was it how was it in the uh, how was it in the studio yesterday with all that was there also a little bit of panic going on I actually wasn't there yesterday I was actually training with the Titans so I didn't actually oh, go it? in I didn't go in yesterday I was just did the first first four days yeah okay so, so, but I'm sure I'm sure Jack was was, 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 was uh, about to go to the cubicle <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah. weren't watching any of that going on no I watched a bit of it at home but I obviously had to train in the morning so I couldn't go through Oh, okay. But I, obviously, I watched, the, I watched the last hundred, well, from when they were a hundred hours. Yeah. I watched. So and, was, uh, was and, video. and what did you think when they were a hundred to go and um, we had old uh, Pryor and uh, and Sally Broad and uh, who was who else was there, I think, uh, smacking it around a bit? Yeah. No, nah, I always thought we had enough, Dan. Honestly, I really did. I thought that we were going to, you know, they, if they played like that, they've got to get a chance somewhere along the line. And yeah. Then we, luckily, we took them. So, but if they're not, it was going to be tricky, yeah. Yeah. So I always thought we had enough. I see people were panicking all over the show, but I always thought, well, I even said to my missus there on the couch, and no, we got plenty here. I was pretty calm, yeah, most of uh, Once again, test match conditions, chasing that. He's really lying, Harrow. He's, he's, he's lying. Was he, is he lying? You How should have seen this. Yeah. I was. I was, <laughs> I was ready livid. to walk out. <laughs> I was livid. And then I thought, here we go again. The, it, I mean, listen, had we lost that, not only would we never have heard the end from these palms, I mean, they would have chirped like you cannot Please, believe. Imagine, imagine all the old, old athers in the same oh. in the studio if I chased that down. It would have been chaos. Gee, in both of them in there. But I mean, I think that would have, uh, as I was saying yesterday, that losing in that in that under those circumstances would have probably rankled more than our uh, our last over loss in that semi final of the World Cup to Australia. Yeah, no, it would have been it would have been terrible. But again, you know, they were never going to get that. I mean, fifty runs in a test match is a lot. So. No, it's, uh, it's, they were never going to get those runs. If yeah. they did, then it would have been out of an effort. They would have yeah. been yeah, so, I mean, I mean how, good, how good was, was Vern McGrath there yesterday? Jesus. Vern McGrath. <laughs> Vern McGrath. But, I mean, just how, how simple does he make it look? I mean, not only yeah, those last two... But I mean, literally, it was almost a hat trick of the first. The way he uh, knocked over Cook and then had Strauss, or uh, didn't know what the hell he was doing. No, he's a serious bowler, especially with that new ball because he can swing it back and take it away from the lefty. So yeah. the same with the right handed So he's now he's a he's been the key, I think, to to God. You know, obviously, but you've got Dale Stan there, who's the world's best, and he proves that every every single series. But you know, he always struggled a little bit for that third seamer. Yeah. So with him coming in there, you've got Mornay, Dale, and him there. It's just, um, you know, it's a proper body attack now. Yeah. And I mean, Imran does add, uh, obviously, that, you know, leg spinner is, is always going to be difficult on day five in, if he's bowling it into the rough. He's taken a little bit of stick as to whether, you know, he is the guy there or not. I mean, you, you've obviously, um, you I think his predecessor in that side. And the fact that you're still playing means you're not completely retired or anything. You're still hoping to get a spot in that side sometime? <laughs> There's no doubt about that. And I'll, yeah. I'll obviously, I'm training as hard as I can to get back into that, into that side. Yeah. Uh, and and, and you know, I think people are a little bit patient with, with, with leg spinners. You know, um, he, you know he's, people built him up to be this world leader before he played a test. You know, it's difficult to... to 
live up to those expectations you know, mm. of, of the people ahead of him. So, you know, patience is the key, I think, with him. And, and also to, you know, maybe to, to look at the kind of decks he's playing on and, and, and maybe save him for the ones that really are going to rag, you know? Yeah, and, and those will obviously be subcontinent, uh, subcontinent yeah, wickets. That, 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 those sort of decks, you know, he had a great World Cup because there was, there was something in the wicket for him, you know. Yeah. He's dangerous and there's something in the deck for him, you know. But we've seen, and I think we can look at the Australian example. Shane Warne, didn't he started by getting pummeled all over the place by, uh, I think it was the Pakistanis or the Indians. It was the Indians that had a nice time with him uh, when he was starting out his career. Um, but yeah. then we saw, and, and this is probably what South Africa will be looking at when we do go to the subcontinent again, is you know a Shane Warne in tandem with a Tim May. You've got an, an off-spinner, uh, sort of a, a wrist spinner, off-spinner on the one side, and then you've got, uh, or finger spin on one side. You know, a Tim May yeah. used to tie one end down, and then Warne used to go in and knock him over at the other end. It was a hell of a combination, and we could be we're seeing Harrison Tahir maybe operating like that in the subcontinent. Look, now you're talking my language. That's lovely. Yeah. No, look, that, that, that's um, that's something that I'd love to see in our test side. You know, is, is we go to a place like this, like you know, India or Sri Lanka or something like that, where we where we think it'll it'll suit the spin to play both. It'll be you know, it'll be it'll be quality. I know we did it a couple of times my son, myself and Jan Berta, and it worked nicely. So that would be great. Obviously, I mean, I'd love to do that. And and you know, I'm I'm not uh, I'm putting myself out of the running for that test side by any stretch of the imagination. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, I was actually wondering what the status with you was because people always now automatically think when they think in terms of a team, uh, they're, they're just going to go in there with one spinner. But uh, as you say, you know, it depends where we play, and, and there could well be a scenario where at least they'll go touring with two spinners. Uh, I know they do sort of go to JP now and again, but I mean, uh, you know, you, there are going to be times you want two proper spinners that can bowl long spells of 30, you know, 40 overs in a test match in, in conditions like that. I mean, it would be great, wouldn't it? And it's, 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 it's so good to watch as well. I mean, I know I'm slightly biased, obviously, but, um, you know, it, it, it'll be great to watch two spinners wheeling away in, in, in India against supposedly the best players spin in the world. Yeah. Um, you know, to, to try and win a test match is unbelievable. Do you do you think there might have been a little different outcome, or maybe a closer outcome in that second uh, second test? Had Graham maybe given Imran a bit of a, a bit of a go at the end? I know it was kind of petering out eventually, but I was sitting there going, you know, the guys were just leaving anything outside of off stump or anything that was down the leg side. Make them play at every ball. Put the boys around the bat. They weren't going to get the runs at one stage. W- were you also looking at a game, maybe get Imran on there and make sure they play every ball? Yeah, I think there was a case for that, definitely afterwards, once you saw how it went, there was definitely a case for that. But then having said that, you know, Spin hadn't really played much of a part in that game. So I understand where, where Biff's head was at with that with that decision not to. But, yeah. you know, when you when you look at it again, you think, well, you know, it possibly could have been a, you know, a question or two asked about why you did bowl a little bit, especially because they had a couple, I think they had a couple... No, I didn't know they top order, but anyway, you know, been, they would have played more balls. You know? Well, they were four down, you know, you suddenly get a couple and nick down. a couple out. You get a couple out and pressure's you on. Never know. Mm. No, I hear you. There's definitely, uh, you know, a, a, a call for him to have done that. But, you know, you saw it differently, I suppose. He's um, the most capped captain in the history of cricket, so. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose, you know, we back his, back his decision and we won 2 nil. so... Yeah, no, look, it wasn't a criticism at all. No, no, no. It's just no, in no, hindsight, no. you look at it going, we could have actually you whitewashed thinking, these guys. You could have, you know, if, if it hadn't rained... Yeah. In that second test, you know, it could have quite easily been a whitewash. Yeah, although they, that, well, that way, so. although they were shouting and chirping that, um, you know, the second test, if it hadn't been for the rain, they had the advantage, which was a load of bollocks. Uh, yeah, you know, we game. wouldn't have declared either. So. Exactly, so. You can throw it back, you can throw it back whichever way you want to do yeah. I love it. Well, Harrow, listen, it's great to know that you're doing uh, some TV stuff. As I say, loving your work there and also loving the fact that you are still very much actively playing, practicing, working hard with the Titans and uh, fighting for that place in that uh, Protea lineup. And what a, what a team set up to be and environment to be in as well. So we wish you all the best with that. Thanks very much for having me on. And, and watch your back. I'm coming for you. That wheel's very round. <laughs> well, now that you've reminded me, I'd forgotten about it. You should have like just sprung it on me, but now I'm going to be watching my back whenever I hear you around. <laughs> cool, Harrow. Thanks for chatting, bud. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye, bye. Paul, Paul Harris joining us on Ball's Visual Radio this afternoon. Hell of a nice guy. Lacker guy. Just a very, very nice. normal, down-to-earth uh, bloke. And look, it will be lucky to actually see that scenario where you have your two pucker spinners uh, operating in tandem in a South African setup, because I mean Shane Warne and Tim May together. They were lethal. Yes, talk about pressure on batsmen there. When you go one oak, you just cannot get off the square on one side, and you know that his mate with the blonde hair is coming and is going to be turning them square on the other side. 
You gotta feel sorry. You have to feel sorry for someone like Tim May, though. I mean, it's bad luck to be in the same era as Shane Warne and an Aussie. No, team. not at all. No, it's they, nice to work in tandem with him, but you always, gee whiz, you can live I mean, in the shadow. No, but Tim Shane Warne, I think, was the guy that actually had to that basically set up Tim May's career, because there were games where Shane, where people were so focused on making sure they didn't go out or uh, get done in by Warne. But they kind of lost focus on the oak on the other yeah, side. Yeah. And then Tim May with his uh, little finger spinners from the other side would knock over three, four or five sticks. <laughs> Duh. Do a JP Germany. <laughs> exactly. So, or Kevin Peterson. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it was a hell of a thing, hell of a thing to watch. But he was the guy who used to get calluses. He used to rip it so much. He used to get calluses on his fingers. And then after play, listen to this, man. You're going to enjoy this. Take a knife, a pen knife and sheath cut the calluses off mm. off his hand that's hot after a day's play just thought you'd like to you know that's a little bit of useless information and share that as you start to think about what's for dinner tonight we the best on three one two three we the best 2 p.m to 6 p.m mondays to fridays live on balls.co.za balls.co.za